All right, it was a couple of weeks back that uh, we had posted the unboxing video of the phone. Now, we had just uploaded the design, but there was so much buzz on that video. People were commenting, they were asking about the device, which clearly means that there is a lot of excitement around the OnePlus Nord CE4 in India. Now, this is what is best about this range, that the mid-range market in India is buzzing every single time. Now, the surprising bit here is that OnePlus doesn't have that kind of clout in the mid-range market. Now, there's a counterpoint research in 2023 that says the top five people who are sharing the market share out of those OnePlus isn't even there, which is exactly what OnePlus is trying to change with this phone, especially in the mid-range category. Now, there was a time when the CE Lite on Amazon was one of the highest selling smartphones and uh, the CE3, even that, was in high demand because of the quality and the features that it offered. But uh, can the CE4 really match up to that kind of expectation in the Indian market? Let's find out. Now, in terms of the basics, I think this phone is pretty impressive on paper. You get a big display, a dual camera setup, uh, a big battery, and everything is basically covered. But that's the trick, that 20 to 30,000 segment is very tricky in India. And uh, the OnePlus phone here is trying to get into that segment itself. Hey guys, this is Cyrus and you're watching Fiber by India today. And this video, I am going to give you a comprehensive look at the OnePlus Nord CE4, that this mid-range marvel by OnePlus. Can it live up to the expectation in terms of charging speed, camera quality, display, everything? I will tell you in this video because it's an important device for OnePlus and also the consumers. So let's begin. Now, first of all, when you take a look at the device, you see this marble finish at the back, which has been taken from previous OnePlus uh, special edition phones. And I think it looks nice to have this kind of a design philosophy in the mid-range market. And I think people who are buying this phone will love something like this. Now, there were people in the comment section of the previous video who asked whether this is glass or not. No, uh, I would call it plastic. Uh, it does attract a few fingerprints, but because of the finish at the back, you don't get to see them that much. Although you get a cover with the phone, uh, you can use that, but uh, will it affect the overall weight? I don't really think so because the weight distribution, even with the cover on, doesn't feel that heavy in the hand, which is great. Overall hands feel, if I can say, yes, it is a plastic body, it is a plastic frame. But in this price range, it's not a deal breaker because it doesn't really come across as very cheap. It looks a bit premium. The rest of the basics are covered. You have an IR blast at the top. You can control uh, your TV remote, uh, another, you know, couple of devices. But how exactly does that work? Whether it's a guarantee that will work, I cannot really be sure. Yeah, one little thing I would request OnePlus, if you could have added a, an alert slider on the phone, it could have been great because that's one feature that people really love about OnePlus devices. All right, so talking about what's on the front, you get a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with the OnePlus Nord CE4 with support for 120 Hertz refresh rate. Now just look at the display on this phone, you're getting enough viewing space and I don't think you will have any complaints even if you're watching content or playing games because the screen size is apt enough. Now let me just show you the clarity of uh, this device, this display, the color depth and the saturation. There's no dearth of it, the pixels are immaculate and they're enough for whatever content that you're watching. And uh, if I take this display under direct sunlight, yes there is a bit of a struggle because uh, 1100 nits might not be enough for the harsh Delhi sunlight because sometimes things just get lost. Across media applications, YouTube, Hotstar, beat any OTT, the display works perfectly and gives you a good experience. Uh, the good thing is that it comes with dual stereo speakers which are quite powerful, uh, very punchy. Uh, it has solid sound but again, if you are someone who uses headphones, with the phone, I think you'll still get a good experience. Now, one thing that really just ticks me off is that you're not giving uh, neither a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack nor adapter in the box to listen to the audio, nor headphones. So I think people would be a bit pissed off that you're not giving any audio solutions for the Nord CE4. Something to consider, OnePlus. Now, there is uh, an Aqua Touch Tech that comes with the phone. Basically, if you drop some water on it or if you 
are using the phone in the rain oneplus says that you get a pretty accurate touch response which i agree with we used it under these conditions and the touch response was accurate enough although not 100 percent but yeah we were at about 80 to 90 percent which i think is a great feature if you're you know accidentally get to use the phone under some uh, harsh weather conditions overall i would say the flat display is a game changer especially for people who game on this phone even for content viewing i think it's a great experience so overall display experience for me is good now the oneplus nord c4 comes with a new processor in the nord series which is the snapdragon 7 gen 3 that comes with ai support now OnePlus doesn't have a lot of AI features in this phone, but the fact that it has added an AI feature, it kind of works in the back end with all of the other applications. I think it's making the overall smartphone experience for you much better. Now you get some of the AI features like you can remove certain subjects out of the phone, which uh, I think is a great feature to have. But the good thing is that you have a future ready chipset in the phone. So even if there are future updates that support AI features, the OnePlus Nord CE4 would be ready to support them all. But speaking of support, the Nord CE4 also comes with Oxygen 14. That is first time the Nord uh, ecosystem is getting this UI. And also you get a guarantee from OnePlus that it will give you two major Android updates and three years of security updates, which means you are sorted for uh, almost four to five years. So constant updates, constant security, make sure that uh, in this range, longevity is guaranteed. Now, basic applications we ran on this phone and uh, I used it as my primary device. Uh, I'll be honest, didn't really have any problems. I love the UI. There's not a lot of bloatware in there, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, even if they are there, you can always uninstall them, but again, no issues for me. It also comes with an in-display fingerprint sensors, which is pretty accurate and fast to unlock the device. Now there is a Pixelate 2.0 feature that has been added in this phone, which basically blurs out certain sensitive information like numbers or, you know, some bank account number, passport number with the help of AI. Now the AI detects it and automatically you can blur it out. You can also do manual uh, blurring, but I think it's a, it's a great feature to have. We also used it for calling and the network issues weren't really there. I took it to the basement. There were certain sections where I was struggling for network and connectivity, but which phone doesn't? Now, I'll be very clear. This is a bit of a downgrade when you compare it to the C3 in terms of RAM because the C3 came with 12 GB of RAM and on the C4, you're just getting 8 GB of physical RAM. Now, there is 128 and 256 storage variants and 1 TB expandable option. But again, there is just the 8 GB physical RAM. You also get virtual 8 GB RAM that acts as an addition, but I'll be very honest. It does not feel like you're just having 8 GB of RAM on board because overall application usage, everything just feels very intuitive, very normal. You kind of feel like you're getting 16 GB of actual RAM even when you're gaming. So I think it's not really a problem. Rest Performance wise, I think the benchmark scores would give you a better idea of how it performs in comparison to other phones in this category or somewhere. Uh, we can talk about the Nothing uh, Phone 2A and also the IQ Z9. Now, the Antutu benchmark scores also put the Nord performance in the right section because you're getting a better performance with the Nord C4, which is great for people who are buying this phone. Now, I'll be very clear and honest to say this is not a gaming phone. However, you get good gaming performance even while playing BGMI with full graphics on. I didn't face any problems. Call of Duty Warzone was also running fine. It was a bit uh, jittery and laggy because of buggy issues with the game. I don't think it was the phone's fault. So gaming also would be a good, good experience on the CE4. So overall, in terms of performance, I was pleased. I would say some of the AI features that you're getting with the phone act as value addition. But uh, if you want basic usage, do not overload the phone with heavy duty applications. I think the OnePlus Nord CE4 is a good option to have in the mid-range category. Now the OnePlus Nord CE4 gets a dual camera setup on the rear and the front gets a 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Now on the back of the C3, you had a triple camera setup. Now what's missing on the C4 is the macro lens. Now the C4 comes with a 50 megapixel primary sensor and you get a secondary 
8 megapixel ultra wide center. Now the 50 megapixel sensor you also got on the Realme 12 Plus, the Renault 11 and the Galaxy A35. These are the same sensors which use the 50 megapixel sensor on the CE4. Now let me give you a look of some of the samples I clicked with this uh, rear sensor. Now in the first shot, you can actually see that the light balancing is pretty good in this picture. On the left, you can uh, have a look at this low light, but on the right side with the LCD, there is a lot of light which is not getting burnt out. And that's a good thing about this sensor that it's able to balance the both. Yeah, color detailing, you can see uh, it's been able to do a decent job, uh, which is a good thing about this primary sensor. But talking about the dynamic range, which you can see in this building, I was really impressed that it was able to capture some of the details as well. Now the wide angle lens is decent enough and uh, you will not get to see a lot of the colors shift from the primary to the ultra wide and that's a good thing that this phone does in lighting conditions because that's a problem that a lot of other smartphones have. Now some of the shots we struggled with a bit of sharpness and contrast and we felt that the background sharpness uh, for some of the subjects could have been better but Again, these are not deal breakers, but some of the issues that we faced while shooting. Now, when you click in portraits, the Nord CE4 does a good job in terms of separating the subject from the background, as you can see, which is uh, pretty accurate. Low light performances are uh, fine, I would say. They're not that impressive. Uh, they lack a bit of clarity and they do struggle when there's a little bit of extra light that you're trying to get into the picture. But uh, again, these are very okay. Low light wide angle shots do have a bit of a problem with color shift because as you can see in this transition from a regular 1x to 2x shot to a wide angle, there is a lot of discrepancy in terms of color shift. So it could be a problem in terms of processing that we uh, can clearly see in these images. The rear camera stabilization is pretty nice. Now I'm sitting in the car here uh, driving at about 50 to 60 kilometers, I'm trying to track these two uh, people on the motorbike and uh, the stabilization, as you can see, pretty nice. And it's also a good thing to see that people are following traffic rules. Now the selfie camera results are quite nice. Sharpness and clarity are pretty decent. As you can see, the wrinkles on my face quite evident as they are. The portrait results are also nice as uh, the samples you can see in front of you. Stabilization from the front camera is a bit iffy. I will not recommend you using this in your car. If you're using handheld shots, then I think OnePlus does a better job in that department. Overall, it's a decent camera. I think in the mid range, it can be a good contender, even if you are competing with some of the other mid range smartphones in this segment. But overall, I think I'll give you a thumbs up. The Nord C4 battery, now I'm a big fan of this battery pack, especially the charging speeds that it can offer. Now it comes with a 5500 mAh battery with 100 watt SuperVOOC charging and you can get a charging time from 0 to 100 in just 30 to 35 minutes, which is excellent. Now I did try a little dream test with this smartphone. I was running a 4K video on YouTube. I ran it for about one hour and I, saw 8% of battery drain, which is great. And if you're having a 5500 image battery, you can easily last an entire day. Now there is a battery health engine that has been installed on this smartphone, which basically ensures that you get super fast charging for the initial uh, phase, and then this charging slows down. It's kind of an AI feature to make sure that you get a longer battery life with the OnePlus and your longevity of the battery health also remains. Overall, I would say this battery on the OnePlus CE4 would last you one to one and a half days, which is great to have on a phone. So now verdict time. Do you think that in this price segment, the OnePlus Nord is a good option? Well, I'll tell you some of the cons. It's got a solid battery, great display, the performance is decent enough, and uh, yeah, you get some of the AI features. The camera is decent in this price range. I won't say it's the best, but a decent one. Rest, I would have loved it if OnePlus would have added an alert slider and also a headphone jack with the phone. But even if I have to give a rating, I would say the Nord C4 gets eight in our fiber rating. 
And yes, in this price segment, you also get the X6 Pro from Poco, the Honor X9B and the Ico Neo 7, which are good options to consider if you want to compare in this price segment and see which one is a better bet for you. You can have a look at the reviews on our channel. That's it for this video. Hope you really liked our detailed review of the OnePlus Nord CE4. If you have any feature or anything that you want to know about the phone, please write it in the comment section and I'll make sure that I get you that video. Plus, you need to make sure that there are a lot of people asking for the same feature. Then only will I be able to make the video because making a video kind of takes a lot of effort. So please do the needful. And if you do, I guarantee you, I'll get you that video for sure. This is Cyrus signing off.